Okay, make it stop, make it stop. No thank you, no thank you, no thank you. Oh. <laughs> Bricky. More bricky. I don't know how much more, but like maybe all of this one, 20 minutes? Maybe. Probably all of it. Cause uh, may or may not be on a time crunch here because the date today is <laughs> January 29th. That's right guys. I'm filming this this morning and I've actually only had to do this one other time. And the reason I'm telling you that I'm doing this is because last night I was up late editing The Last of Us episode one. But how, but how is she getting the fungus? But how is she getting it? No, 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 no. <laughs> Uh, why did I decide to watch this? Which will go up on my other channel later today, probably. Maybe it's already up, I'm not sure. I'll put the card in this video when it is up. But unfortunately, ugh, man plans and the gods laugh. Hamana, 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 they're all just laughing. Are the hamana people gods? None of them are gods. They all like serve gods, but some of them are demigods. Anyways, long story long, basically I try and do too many things because I want, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> I just rewatched my last video and I saw that that was in the opening and I was like, I can work this in. But uh, so I'm in theater school right now, so I have about 35 hours of class a week. I've decided to also start learning French again. Great, so that's another four hours a week. I have these two channels and I'm trying to write my books and doing all my homework, reading a play every week, having to memorize monologues and whatnot. So anyways, I tried to hire an editor. Well, I went back and forth with the editor a few times. I will end up paying them, but I watched what they gave me and I thought, fine. I'll do it myself. <laughs> Anyways, I really meant to shoot this yesterday. That's what that long story was about. But that aside, let's get to some bricky stuff right before some housekeeping. This channel now has memberships. Thank you so much to my channel members. I really appreciate you. If you'd like to become a channel member, I would appreciate that as well. I make sure to answer all comments from my channel members, although I do try and answer as many comments as possible. Being a channel member, make sure your comment gets seen. As you may have noticed, this week I put up a video trying to set up my PS5. <laughs> It's hard. So I have the part two of that coming this Wednesday with um, <laughs> some Astro's Playroom. And I know this is not the first game you guys wanted me to play and I don't, what? X, 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 X. Whoa! <laughs> I still haven't quite figured out streaming yet uh, and I think I'm gonna have to learn how to use Premiere Pro to edit stuff that's coming out of OBS, which is super annoying for me, but whatever. So anyways, all of this is uh, a lot, but I'm having a great time. <laughs> So if you have suggestions for what I can do in those Wednesday videos, I don't know that they'll come every Wednesday. Right now, the only thing I'm promising myself is that every Sunday you guys are getting one of these. Everything else is just bonus right now. I'm gonna try and start streaming probably on Tuesdays or Wednesdays in the evenings. Um, what else? As I'm sure you already know, I am a self-published author. These are my books. Magic Required follows the story of a Celtic demigod trying to seek a redemption he is not sure he deserves. Dominion Required picks up about six weeks after Magic Required leaves off. Bloodkin and Curses is the first in an adjacent series. And I am currently working on my fourth novel, the third in the required series, in my Lachlan series. They are available as audiobooks, ebooks, and paperbacks. Thank you so much if you have read them. If you've read them, please review them. It is super, super helpful. And if you're just here to watch some bricky stuff, let's dive in. Oh, but first, I wanna shout a couple people out and only one of you I have a comment, like actually gonna show your, hang on. Did you guys know this? I'm just shouting this out because I think everybody needs to know this. Comma and a period. Wow. Thank you. The other person I wanted to shout out, I, I don't know their name or whatever. I don't know. You'll know I'm talking to you if you're the person. Come here. Yeah. I will do one of these a month. And I don't care that you don't like it. This will not become a Warhammer channel. Okay, thanks, that's all. I don't know if that was a shout out, that was more of like a call out, but that's okay. You know who you are. All right, let's recap. <laughs> the Chads. Mystery Second. Purple People Don't Get Laid. The Incels. Who's five? White Stabbies. Space Vikings. Um, the Marine. Fisty cuffs. Fisting. Sorry. The Depresso Espresso. That's Bricky's favorite one, right? All, all darkness everywhere. I see a red door and I want it painted black. 
Then we have the vampires, the space vampires. And um, I have a thing for your robot. Um, the flesh is corruptible. And they were all, they were all loyal. I want some rebels. I don't know if that's actually what I want. 11th Legion. Let's go. I was never here. Legion 11. Oh, James Earl Jones. Another one? Another mystery? Why, hello there. Oh. I have returned from uh, touching grass. <laughs> I'm pretty cool. I learned what that was With from grass from me. some of my Discord buddies. Let's continue Thanks, our guys. lecture. Waffles, <laughs> my jammies. Okay, so what's going on here? Why are the Elevens also a mystery? The World Eaters, Allegiance, Heretic, Primar, mm. Angron, a butcher, Heretic, slaughterer, like extremely earth shatteringly unreasonably fuck ass man single <laughs> word descriptor anger hey you yeah you are you mad do you just fucking hate everything do you want to murder everything in sight and that's me for doing so then you should join the world eaters home planet of nuceria and primarch angron who if the name didn't suggest he's angry he's angry <laughs> angron was raised a slave forced oh. to fight in gladiator pits when he oh. refused they shoved old fun work. fact i don't know if you knew this but i learned this a while ago and forgot it and relearned it in my theater history class this week gladiators often didn't die it was expensive to train a gladiator and it was seen as weak if you had to injure your opponent to take him down Sounds like they were being friends instead. Tack into his brain, so that if he ever felt any emotion other than I anger, need that again. Oh my god. Oh, 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 I have met this one before. Because he wants to be angry. I have met this one before. I know this one. Pits. When he refused, they shoved old world tech into his brain, so that if he ever felt oh. any emotion other no, than I, anger, no. it caused him extreme pain. I retract his sons all that excitement. To be like their dad also put a version of these nails in their brain. So now you have an entire legion who literally feel unimaginable pain if they are feeling any emotion other than anger. That's Slap horrible. them with a freight train of armor, two goddamn chainsaw axes, and you can see what's gonna happen. It's no wonder they're corrupted by corn. They're honestly Oh a my god, I definitely was thinking sad corn. That it's corn. And I actually screwed up in assuming that they were all just angry murderers. I, I mean, they are. But they didn't start out that way. Their corn corruption degraded uh. their intelligence, their free will, and Aww. made powerful warriors into arguably even more powerful warriors, but blunt, like, frothing-at-the-mouth psycho warriors. The world eaters, like I mentioned the Space Wolves, they, they wear their concept on their sleeve. They are angry, they want to kill things, they want to kill you, and maybe some of their friends. What the and fuck did I do to you? That's the faction. They're red, they're mad, they're gonna run at you and cause death. If you like that, you play the world eaters. Or you like because they were, you know... At one point, a lot better than that. Most of Warhammer was a lot better than that. I was once a lot better than that. That was when I was in college. I still think you're great. I didn't finish college. Oh. Neither did Angron. <laughs> Neither did Angron. Hey, on. Caesar. It's not done by sunrise. I'll cut your balls off. The Ultra Ow. Marines. Allegiance. Loyalist. Primarch. Rabute oh. Gilliman. That's how. Yeah, that's how it's said. An analyst. A diplomat. A blueberry boy scout. Ooh. Single word descriptor. Duty. When you see space Duty. marines on a box or just space marines in promotional yes, material, notice yes, how they are always yes, colored blue. Yes. These are the blue space marines. Oh. The, these ones here, the ultramarines, who oh. hail from the world of Macrog with their primarch, Robute Gorilla Man. Ultramarines are, are the white bread of space oh. marines. Oh, the grilled chicken Painfully with my salt type. and pepper. This is by no means an insult. They are plain <laughs> Jane, but that's also because they are so <gasps> goddamn good at their job. Their skill for warfare is paramount, but so is their ability for leadership. What about their ability Gilliam to feel a all was emotions? A damn boring primarch for all the reasons he was great. Because no matter how hard you try, you don't win a war without logistics, without supply lines, without trade routes, without infrastructure and economy. Okay. You don't win anything without all that stuff, and Gilliman knows it. Which is why he has one of the largest standing <sighs> empires in the Imperium, named so he's Ultramar. Smart. Which is why his sons are the most recognizable of all the space marines. Which is why the only thing that rivals the weight of their victories is the weight of their egos. Oh. They are good at everything and bad at nothing. They are great Everybody's at everything. Bad at something. Other legions can do 
do other things better than them, but they are good at everything. The mm. most interesting thing about the Ultramarines is their characters, as they are all now inflicted with various amounts of Ultra Depression oh. for many reasons. Oh. Gilliman is, at the time of recording, the only playable <sighs> Primark currently on the tabletop, and the only one that has returned to the 41st millennium for the Loyalist side. He took one look at what his empire has become, and immediately wanted to fucking die. Being forced oh. to lead everything he once My hated. And damn bullshit be house of prayer. His sole nope, responsibility anyone? Anyone? to save it. Sorry. It's kind of what makes him interesting. They are a perfectly standard legion with perfectly standard ideals. And great if you want a simple, clean slate. Uh-oh. Stinky. <laughs> funny, please. Pink funny. Woo. The death I'm guard. not going to remember all Legions of these anymore. I'm heretic. sorry, guys. Primark heretics. or Carrion. Let's a go Reaper, heretics. A poison. An Ooh. ungodly stench. Single word descriptor? Rot. Ew. The death guard hail from Barbaros. With the Primark Carrion. The 14th Ooh. Legion Ooh. Ooh. I can practice. Ungodly stench. Period Single and word comma. descriptor? Rot. The Death Guard hail from Barbaros. Oh, I got it. I didn't have to practice. Oh, okay. Yeah, blow something up because you think it's smelly. Sure. I didn't have to practice, but let's just. Oh, uh, 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 uh. back. Oh, forward. Oh, 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 oh. Comma goes back. Oh, 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 oh. Period goes forward. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, thank you. With the Primark Mortarium. <laughs> the 14th Legion were known for their incredible resilience to damage. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Where the Imperial Fists were defensive so gross. Thanks to tactics and posturing, yes. the Death Guard were resilient because they could take a punch or, or a gut shot or, or a oh. cannon to the chest and, and just keep on moving. They are slow, yet they are resistant, which was only confounded as a Death Guard captain. Typhus, codename Dickhead, sold them out to Nurgle. Oh, God Nurgle is so decay. disgusting. Now, the Death Guard are a Nurgle-worshipping infected <sighs> region whose ability to <sighs> kill pain and take damage <sighs> has all but just gone away. They wade through gunfire, able to kill normal Marines 10 times over and continue unharmed, all while spreading rot and disease in the name of their dark, very stinky master. Where the Death Guard enter, plague spreads. People get sick and they die. They spread debilitating disease to all around them. Oh. Why would a Legion need to be anything more than very tanky when their enemies are falling very over, puking, tanky. firing out of both Should ends, I know what that and means? having their skin I remember squishy, off but not just tanky. by their presence. Ew, Entire worlds infested with zombie Ew. rot, swarms <laughs> of insects that eat flesh and metal okay, light, stop, all while the no, Legion advances no, slowly, no, thank you. No, thank you. painfully. No. Allowing the disease they spread to take its toll before they reap the lives they believe belong to them. And look at Mortarian's model, dude. No. The man is baller as fuck. No, he's not. A gigantic not moth with a gigantic scythe. Come on no. now. The Death Guard. No. For my next Thousand Sons. I'm gonna fucking kill myself. Uh. The Thousand Sons. Allegiance? Heretic. Primarch? Magnus the Red. <laughs> Scholar. A sorcerer. Nice boobs. You get those from nerd. Madonna? Single a nerd. Descriptor? Magic. Oh, the Thousand okay. Sons hail from their homeworld of Prospero, with their primal Magnus the Red. The final of our four major Chaos God factions, oh. the Thousand Sons are disciples of Zeech, the changer of ways. Oh my god, Heavily the inspired weird, by their like, Egyptian stomach theme, vagina the mouth themselves are slaves to the god of trickery and change. Most of them no longer even having a physical form, reduced to just dust. Piloting suits of armor at the whim Dust. of a sorcerer leader. Like the Scientologists do not deserve their fate. Mormons? There's a common joke that Magnus did nothing wrong. This is untrue. <laughs> he has done much wrong. However, he is very sympathetic. Mainly because the Space Wolves and oh, Lunar Rust sought cool. to end their rivalry through the annihilation of their legion, escaping only through the assistance of the Changer of Ways, and forever changed because of it. Meanwhile, magic is their main tool. Take some Lovecraftian style abilities, the eyes everywhere, and potent spells to be cast at their foes, whether these are bolts of psychic lightning, reversing time itself, opening up portals to unreality or changing the very fabric of the universe. What a world that's like only sorcery shrimp. knows no bounds and they are very good. <gasps> if you're a fan of like wizards, your classic style of spellcaster and you want a ton of them combined with a tragic backstory and a kind of cool. like Mortarian. Mm, I don't looks like him. Fucking baller, I don't like him. Thousand Sons are for you. Okay. You fucking asshole. There's no way you're a fucking cheater. <laughs> Sore loser. You're a cheater. My dad works at Nintendo. <laughs> The Sons of Horus, or the Luna Wolves, or the Black Legion. Okay. Allegiance? 
heretic. Primarch? Horus, a warlord, a treasured Is that a wolf? Or the Pelt? traitor himself. Oh. Single word descriptor, assault. Assault. The Don't sons be salty. Of Horus are the formal name of Horus's legion, hailing from the world of Chthonia. Chthonia. Oh. The sons of Horus themselves were assault troops. The strength of their attack was some of the most powerful in the legions. While the White Scars may favor speed for their strikes, the sons of Horus were known for their overall offensive power. Power. It was even said that if the Sons of Horus met the Imperial Fists, they would be at a stalemate for eternity. However, the Sons of Horus are no longer oh. because, well... <laughs> I don't get it. They, they are now on? instead the Black Legion, oh. led by Avril the Despoiler, who claims Sorry. to succeed where his father failed. Okay. The okay, Black okay. Legion are still an offensive and assault-based force, but they act much like the Ultramarines, but for chaos. Your standard Black huh. and Brass Space Marine, who are known for recruiting in all different kinds of avenues. Anyone can become a member of the Black Legion. Any Anyone benefits? can swear <laughs> allegiance to the War Master. You gain favor oh. by not just one, but all four gods equally. Their famous line, let the galaxy burn, I still, I is like, the best way to the describe it. It doesn't yeah. matter I was just gonna say, I like Slanesh, but like so soft So long as the Imperium <laughs> dies, the Black Legion has done its job. They are a legion formed from hatred and Who isn't, though? with a clear goal so in mind. So many are. As the Dark Gods are calling, mm -hmm. and the Black Legion are sure to answer. If you call, you have a moment to I will answer, answer. And if no. you fall, no. I'll pick no. you up. The Sorry. word bears. Allegiance, heretic. Primarch, Lorgar Aurelian. A preacher. He seems a very, fanatic, uh... A choir boy. Oh. A single word descriptor, zeal. Oh. If the Black Legion answer the call of the Dark Gods, what if instead you decide to call the gods first? Well, then the word bearers are for you. The 17th Legion led by pretty. Primarch Lorgar on the planet of Colchis. Oh, okay. Thank you. I was... Oh. Originally obsessed with what? worshiping the Emperor of Mankind. How what? Just kidding. It blew up because... <laughs> okay. Okay. Originally obsessed with worshipping the Emperor of Mankind as a ah. god, they found that despite his divinity, he was not worthy of worship. Because, you know, he raised their equivalent of Jerusalem to the ground oh. for daring to worship him. Like, could you imagine if, if God actually showed up and was, I was just there. like, Jerusalem is stupid. I was it's, there, and it was so interesting to be there. It was so interesting. Uh, also interesting that I feel like I can only say some of the things that I think about my experience there online. Isn't that interesting about the way we talk about different places? Just food for thought, especially with some things that are going on in the news right now. I just think that it's so important that we talk about things, you know? And yet I can't. So stupid. So interesting. This, I will say though, that like going through the barrier to get to the wall, Made me sad. It made me really sad. It was a very powerful experience though, even though I'm an atheist, going to the wall was a very powerful experience. I think because there were so many people who believed the same thing in the same spot at the same time. And like, like I don't, like I, I, I think I have faith, not in, not in religion, but in people. And I think that when you're sad and somebody gives you a good hug and you feel better, that kind of like energy transference, I believe in that kind of stuff and, and all of that happening so intensely it was very cool and sad and interesting <sighs> okay thing a little like, off topic your head, but, but such there is this are channel gods that want worship and will reward those who do the word right. bearers are chaos worshippers to a the who wears war those who do the word bearers are word chaos bearers worshippers right, to right, right, right. A oh ball. Chaos gods. They specialize in demonic rituals, the summoning of demons, don't and the, the chaos mutual gods possession get, like, jealous of, their of each own other? troops. They welcome their, like, worshipers? demons like, to don't their worship bodies him? to fight worship as me. one. They exalt the dark gods themselves for aid, and guess what? They answer. In the world of oh. 40k, Satan's gonna demon. call you back. He hops in his GT Mustang and he crashes on your couch. In the world of 40k, your rituals will end with genuine results. The okay. warfarers know this. They know through sacrifices, through devotion, through dark 
baptism, the <sighs> gods will answer and they will be rewarded. So they use it. They bring forth demons. They bring forth possessions. They bring forth the power of the neverborn, the damned, and those that hide the in the never dark born. to bear against the Imperium. Lorgar sits there. That's pretty smiling. Now. As the truth he always knew, the existence of gods and the importance of faith is a reality. And it is a tool oh, he is using. Oh, okay. So, gods aren't... Gods in this world are like gods in our world. Like, you have to believe and, like, not everybody meets. Because I kind of thought that it was just fact. Like, the supernatural and gods were a fact in the 40k world. For the average 40k citizen for the plumber the 40k plumber does that plumber know that the gods are real thank you for answering my question <laughs> the galaxy dear sir stroke Madden. salamanders these are Fire. the exclamation black not black Fire. hannah don't talk about race because it angers us me. the people. salamanders right allegiance loyalist primark vulcan a forge vulcan master, a behemoth a very huggy boy oh i like hugs Fire. The oh. Salamanders hail from Maybe Nocturne, a volcanic planet home to their Primarch oh, Vulcan. That guy they actually are looks the black. largest of the space marines, not due to numbers, but rather size. Vulcan, it, it, he is an enormous slab of beef, by oh. far the largest of all the Primarchs. However, okay. don't let his size fool you, as he is also the kindest. Salamanders have, have the juxtaposition oh, yeah, of so looking like them. frightening, being larger than other marines while also boasting an ashy like coal color skin and blazing red eyes. Okay. While simultaneously carrying around all manner of flame weaponry. So your average civilian might be spooked, but in reality, they are oh, by far the kindest of the all the legions to those civilians. Vulcan believes that to safeguard the Imperium is to, at the end of the day, I mean, safeguard its people. So unlike other legions who put their lives far and above the average human, the Salamanders spend significantly more time trying to save them, often taking numerous losses by doing so. They are very independent as well they're four okay stop tricking me maintaining their own weapons and crafting versions of it they also have the very rare privilege of being able to see their families even after becoming a space marine they they care which is the funny part stop tricking me a half foot tall giant with flaming red eyes who just reduced a traitor to bubbling metal says you have nothing to fear young citizen take my hand if you enjoy fire melting things and being the nicer of the marines Salamanders are for you. Salamanders are for me! Sneak attack! Saga, sneak attacks don't work if you yell it out loud. The Raven Guard. <laughs> Allegiance, Loyalist. Primark, Corvus Korax. A raven, a shadow, an industrial dance DJ. So many of them Single start off so stupid. pretty. Stealth. Oh. The Raven Guard are the final Loyalist Legion at 19 and hail from the planet Deliverance oh. with Primark, Corvus, Korax. If it hasn't been made clear enough already, the Raven Guard are stealth specialists and proficient in all manners of assassination. Despite this, their signature winged jump pack and double lightning claw look is, well, not very stealthy. <laughs> They're named after, of course, the Raven and embody the entire concept of it as a herald of death. They are stealthy, patient hunters that have no problem with waiting and waiting and waiting until the moment to strike is at hand. Mm. It's not easy being a stealth faction when your stealth involves people in one ton of power armor, but they Facts. find a way. That more than anything it should not like be life. used to show how ridiculous life 40k is. Life finds a way even though it is, but rather to show how good the Raven Guard are at their jobs. It's not about them sneaking around you without being seen, but it's also about them having lied in wait for so long that it wasn't until they were in striking distance that you even realized they had been there. And also, if you want, you know, edgelord marines with a long black haircut, pale skin, edgelord. ravens everywhere, if you want to field assassins and snipers abound, then the Raven Guard are for you. It could be in this very room. All right, <clears throat> last one. Oh, 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 that is from Team Fortress. I know that. I know that. I've watched that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? It was obvious. The Alpha Legion. Allegiance? Heretic. Heretics. Like me. Oh, oh. Primark? Alpharius? What was that and look for? Omegon. Saboteurs, destabilizers, 
They're in your walls. Single word descriptor, espionage. Finally, the 20th Legion, the Alpha Legion, led oh, by Alpharius Alpha. and Omegon. The only Legion to have two Primarchs who were split as twins. Oh. The Alpha Legion are heretical, we think, and specialize in destabilization <gasps> of society and armies. Their entire shtick is the Hydra, because when you cut off one head, two more take its place. All of the Alpha Legion look exactly like their Primarch. Oh. Olive skin, shaved head. Oh. All claim to be Alpharius. All <laughs> are liars. They make the largest use of like their color cells scheme. and cultists in the Chaos Space Marine factions, because it's extremely easy to take over a planet when you poison our water supply, burn our crops, and deliver a plague onto our houses. Where the Raven Guard use stealth and sabotage to eliminate their enemies, the Alpha Legion prefer to weaken them over time with sleeper agents, impersonations, basically anything you can imagine from a hardcore spy movie or, or Cold War level espionage. Being Alpharius is not only an honor, being Alpharius is a requirement. There's a story of someone chasing down an Alpha Legion agent for years upon years, and when they finally catch up with them and they see them, they see that the agent is wearing the same face as their pursuer. Oh. This was the plan all uh. along, to kill him. Uh and take his spot. We're talking <sighs> facial reconstruction surgery. Oh. We're talking hacking. We're talking so many of these are so and impersonation vain. everything. They are space Marines in name only because huh. being a strong stoic warrior is not what the Alpha Legion is interested in. In fact, the Alpha Legion is interested in you not even knowing that the Alpha Legion is a thing. I am Alpharius. You are Alpharius. We are all Alpharius <laughs> in his Lord's glorious army. Thank you everyone so much for watching oh, this video. Oh, it's done. Thank you. you. I did, Bricky. you were on the fence about what Space Marines you wanted to field, you would now have a better idea of what you want to play. Buy my gamer sub shaker. It's on sale. It's on pre-order. Buy it. It's ready to go. Just get it. Just get it. Use code Bricky. It's in the description. Use code it. Bricky. It's in the description of his of video. Patrons over on patreon.com slash Bricky and the members on the YouTube channel. Your names are here. I thank you a ton. You are all very generous. And uh, oh, I need to answer a question. Have you ever attempted to touch grass but end up touching the Destiny 2 loading screen? I don't get it. Oh, damn it. I just... Sorry, Brecky. Yeah. Also, don't put this stuff so, over your face. Okay, that was a lot, but I liked it. I like learning about the salamanders. I feel like there must be a trick or something. They're not like just nice. They're just nice. Also, I feel like I had a lot of random references throughout this um, video. So if you got them all, please comment to tell me. I I'm gonna count them as I'm editing TV shows or movies or um, one was a musical. I had this many. I don't know, I'm gonna check in editing, but it was this many. Comment if you got them all. Tell me what they are. That'd be so fun. Ooh, I'd love that. Okay, that was really fun. Thank you guys so much for watching and making it to the end of this video. Please put any suggestions down below. Thank you again to my channel members. And I hope you will watch my video on Wednesday. Uh, I think it's pretty funny, but I also think I'm funny, so whatever. And The Last of Us is going up today, if it's not already up, on H.S. Paisley. Thank you again so much for watching. I hope you guys are all happy and healthy, taking care of yourselves and each other, being friends instead. And as always, until next time, may the force be with you. Live long and prosper. And I'll be back. <laughs>